Hello friends. Welcome back. In today's video we are going to see how to use ultrasonic sensor HCSR04 with ESP32. We will be using Tasmata platform for this. This is the connection diagram to interface SR04 sensor with ESP32. Echo pin is connected to GPIO14 of ESP32. And trigger pin to GPIO12. Search Tasmata in Google search window. Click on the install Tasmata as shown. Connect ESP32 to your computer. And click on connect. Select COM port. And click on connect. Click on install Tasmata. And press boot button on ESP32 board. And erase device. It will take a while to install Tasmata on ESP32. Installation is complete. Click on next. Configure Wi-Fi. Enter SSID and password of the router. And click connect. Now the device is connected. Click on visit device. Now Tasmata main menu is visible. Click on configuration. Click on configure module. Set GPIO2 as relay. Now set GPIO12 as trigger and GPIO14 as echo. And save the settings. Now the SR04 distance sensor value is visible. Bring the object over ultrasonic sensor. And you can value of distance is changing. Let us go to the console. Now the distance sensor values are visible. Change teleperiod value to 10. The distance value is changing as I am placing the obstacle near near the sensor. Let us go back to main menu. Click on configuration then configure MQTT. Set the broker as broker.hivemq.com. Keep other settings as is and save the configuration. The device will restart. Click configuration. Click configure other. Set device name and friendly name as distance sensor ESP32. Save the settings and the ice will restart again. Click console. Now the distance sensor data is available on MQTT topic. Let us go to home assistant and click on settings. Click device and services. Click add integration and select MQTT. 
Enter broker name as broker.hivemq.com and submit. Click on Devices. Search Distance Sensor. Click on Device Selected. Now device parameters are visible. Turn LED on ESP32 board on. Turn LED off. Now the distance sensor values are visible here. And I will bring the obstacle near the sensor. Add control and sensors to the dashboard. Now LED and sensor values can be controlled and monitored from here. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked this video then please hit like button. Share this video with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again and have a good time.